Hello, I'm Murray Newlands here at Startup Grind with your story in Mountain View with Manoj from Experian. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do? We guys develop mobile applications and solutions aimed primarily at enterprises. Now, obviously, where did you start this company? We started off this in a small town in India called Trivandrum. It's in South India. And that's where we're headquartered now. And what's your story of bringing that company to America and what would be your advice for other entrepreneurs? So we created a legit story of having a company that's gone out and built solutions in Middle East, in Australia, in Europe. And one of us had to come over to the United States and make sure that we had a local presence here incorporated in the US. And we put up a case to the consulate saying this is an entity that would like to grow in the United States and, and, and essentially build out those products and solutions which will cater to the market here. And that was the beginning of our journey. That was in 2010. And what have you found um, has been difficult, interesting or just unusual about coming to America? The difficult part was, of course, you have a no-name entity coming into the United States and trying to build a business. Um, some of the exciting part, I think the next the next point was exciting. What, what was exciting about it is the fact the opportunities were there. There were many, many, many opportunities. It did not matter that our entity was unknown. But the fact that we could build trust with a few couple of customers in the, in the first place, they would give us the reference. The market would respond prop, uh, saying that these guys know how to do a good job talk to them they helped us probably they'll help you out too so we went on moving from one customer to the other and then moved on now we have 32 customers in the United States alone so getting that those first US customers and getting references from them that mm -hmm. was the, the, the key that was the first key to break yes so any advice from other people taking their startup uh, from India to America Yes, so uh, my, ad my advice would be that there is no limit here in terms of opportunities. There is absolutely no limit. People here will come to you if you really have that stuff to deliver and they believe and they understand that you believe in what you're doing. They go all out and help you. I've been helped a lot. I've been fortunate in the fact that several people stepped up and said, it looks like you guys are doing a decent job and I've heard some good things about you. And it took some time, but I, when I look back, it wasn't after all a big time, a uh, long time at all. Because between 2010 and 2013, we saw 32 customers come up and continue to do business with us. That is all through references. That's something awesome. And if we can do it, anyone else can do it. Just about anyone can do it. This is a land of opportunities. Now, you were telling me that you've been running this company for six years. It's just turned profitable. Mm -hmm. um, you were saying that you're all supported by your wives. Tell us about that. Okay, so when we went out, we built a product for the enterprises called Fieldmax. It's for the manufacturing sector. And we were building that with the hope that we can make it a successful SaaS product, a subscription-based service, which means revenues would trickle in. So when these revenues trickle in, the six of us need to put some bread and butter on the table. Yes. The only way we could do that was tell our wives to help us and hang on a little more longer. And we kept promising them it would be next year, the year after, whatnot. But it took us six years. But then, until then, they were the ones who were behind us, supporting us, making sure that this company and these guys were actually getting to the point they want to get to. So, we are indebted to them, no doubt about it, and the children for suffering whatever they are suffering. And, uh, and so, effectively, you're saying you didn't raise any funding, but effectively, you were funded by, venture funded by the wives. Venture funded by the wives, a couple of local banks, friends and family, yes, that's where we started off. And... Uh, what was the driving passion behind this business? Um, the, the fact that we all had put in an, enough amounts of, uh, each of us had put in roughly 18 to 20 years of experience in the corporate world, work right. for large corporations, whatnot. We wanted to put, do something of our own. And we found that in the manufacturing sector, there were some gaps that we felt we could fill with some products. And Fieldmax, our flagship product, is doing exactly that. And to our surprise, we noticed that our assessment in the initial phases were wrong in the sense that we thought we were solving a problem only for the small and medium-sized companies. And now we figure that the bigger guys, like big names, are saying we have the same problem too and they're buying this product from us. Fantastic. If people want to find out more information and connect with you, how do they do that? So they can connect at experionglobal.com. There's the website, uh, that's a website for the company. We have our phone numbers and email IDs there. But otherwise, anyone wants to send in a question, they can send it to info at experionglobal.com. What's your Twitter? It's Manoj Balraj, M-A-N-O-J-B-A-L-R-A-J. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Murray Newlands with Your Story. I'll see you next time.